A group of protesters took over the Starbucks in Philadelphia where two black men were arrested for no reason. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Candace Carazales. Subscribe for more trending and social media news every day. Tensions have run pretty high since the incident on Thursday, which was filmed and uploaded to Twitter by author Melissa DiPino. I, what did they get called for? Because there are two black guys sitting here meeting me? Yes, I did. Well, what did they do? What did they do? Did someone tell me what they did. They didn't do anything. I saw the entire thing. They didn't. What did they do? She wrote in her original post, the police were called because these men hadn't ordered anything. They were waiting for a friend to show up who did as they were taken out in handcuffs for doing nothing. All the other white people are wondering why it's never happened to us when we do the same thing. Basically, the Starbucks employee called the police because these two men were sitting at a table and using the restroom and they hadn't purchased anything. As people do at Starbucks the meeting place hub of the world. <laughs> Starbucks is being heavily criticized over the incident with the hashtag boycott Starbucks trending over the weekend. Red T Raccoon said, my dad sits around Starbucks for hours and nobody says a word to him about it. He's a 69 year old white man, so that might have something to do with it. But actor Kevin Hart thinks it's more about the specific location than Starbucks as a whole. He tweeted, let's make one thing very clear. This is not a boycott Starbucks situation. This is horrible management. The manager on duty was wrong. It's that simple. That's who needs to take responsibility for this wrongdoing. But new videos emerging suggest that it might not be an isolated incident. Journalist Sean King shared this video made by a black man who was denied the code to use a Starbucks restroom, though they gave a white man who hadn't purchased anything the bathroom code. <laughs> Weston. Weston, nice to meet you. Sorry. Did anyone told you that you, uh, you look like someone from here? No. No? You never got that? Yeah. Have, no. you, have you purchased anything in here, sir? Uh, no, but I was just about to go. You about to go party yeah. something? Yeah. Oh, oh. Starbucks tweeted an apology to the two men over the weekend. We apologize to the two individuals and our customers and are disappointed this led to an arrest. We take these matters seriously and clearly have more work to do when it comes to how we handle incidents in our stores. We are reviewing our policies and will continue to engage with the community and the police department to try to ensure these types of situations never happen in any of our stores. Additionally, Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson appeared on Good Morning America to apologize and suggested that their employee training may need to be updated to include education about unconscious bias. And so clearly there's an opportunity for us to provide clarity. And in addition to that, I'd say there's training more training that we're going to do with our store managers, not only around the guidelines, but training around unconscious bias. What happened to those two gentlemen was wrong. Johnson says he plans to meet the two men in the video to personally apologize. Those men have retained lawyers though, so I imagine there's gonna be a little more than a friendly handshake and apology. Um, you know, if that happened to me, I would expect Starbucks to pay me $1 billion and I hope that's what those guys get. One billion each, baby. A company spokeswoman said the manager who called the police has left the company. Did she leave the company or was she fired by the company? Would love to know. I am just can't believe like these two guys were just sitting there minding their own business, chilling at a Starbucks. Oh, maybe they used the restroom. If you go to any Starbucks like in Hollywood, there's like the weirdest, strangest people that look like they're actually doing wrong, bad shit, and they're fine there. They're not getting the cops called on them. I've seen people probably like pee on the floor at Starbucks and the employers are like, yeah, that's fine, that just happens here. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't get it. Meanwhile, the protests at the Starbucks at 18th and Spruce are continuing. This is yeah, Why are you trying to smile right now? Look all smoke. Right you do not share time to smile. Who don't give a about you? Yeah, you better say all the right things. What do you guys think? Are you guys gonna boycott Starbucks or are you gonna boycott that employee and never talk to her again? Let us know in the comments down below. For more stories like this, head to what's trending.com. I've been Candice Carazales. Thanks for watching.